down home. Instagram follower JB Lee wants to know what was your favorite Halloween costume? Great question, Jody, and so seasonably appropriate. Well, while my costume didn't do anything as exciting as inciting violent reactions from three nationalities through a naive and tactless, albeit accidental, allusion to sensitive issues surrounding geopolitical terrorism, what it did do was celebrate a boy and his dream to fly. Like 98% of other seven-year-olds, I became obsessed with the idea of flight. My dad built aircraft engines for the General Electric Company, and I swore that one day I would be a pilot. Perhaps this obsession with flight at a young age is what attracted me to Disney's less than successful off-brand 1991 superhero film, The Rocketeer. In case you were in the mass majority that missed this film, The Rocketeer is about a young all-American stunt pilot in 1938 Los Angeles who finds a hidden rocket pack, uses it to fly around, beat up Nazis, and win the girl. While the film barely broke even at the box office, I nearly broke the Ulansky family VCR by watching it over and over and over. And so when Halloween rolled around that year, my dad took every last bit of his aircraft engine building acumen to design the coolest Halloween costume that has ever been built. I was indeed the Rocketeer. This wasn't some cheap knockoff plastic costume. No, 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 man. This thing was built from scratch. It had a working cooling fan. It had blinking lights. It made real jet sounds when I pressed the ignition button with my thumb that was connected to a cord to the thing just like in the movie. Get out of town. Now, I have to admit, in my memory of wearing this costume, I was basically a bona fide jet packing Nazi punching badass superhero. The reality, however, may have been a little bit more on the cute little kid side than on the punching Nazi superhero side. I'll let you be the judge. Down home.